so it is successive approximation a to d converter so generally we called as uh, adc converter generally we call it as adc so analog to digital converter so generally when we talked uh, a to d converter before this we have done uh, sampling called as sampling and hold circuit so sample and hold circuit so this is what we have done it already so generally we call as s bar h circuitry so generally why we do that circuitry is uh, directly analog signal we cannot send it to the a to d converter so before we send it to a to d converter we use it uh, the sampling we do the sampling and then we send it okay so that is why we use the sample and hold circuit now there are multiple forms of a to d converter available like flash type adc and uh, uh, successive approximation adc and there are many other types of adc each uh, each one of them have their own pros and cons okay so now being a, a computer science engineer i will be uh, telling you uh, the successive approximation being so common i will tell you one a to d converter so based on the knowledge you can able to uh, get information about the other a to d converter in case if you want okay so also it is a pure electronic circuitry i am not going to deal the details of the electronic circuitry i will uh, show you everything in blocks okay so that you will understand what is each and every block okay and we will solve a problem also okay right so now i will just draw the circuitry a module called as sar successive approximation register then we have a circuitry called as d to a converter so this is for for the feedback control system d to a converter means digital to analog converter so here there is a clock then here we have the data points so this is will be d not then d1 then d2 dot 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 up to and d n minus 1 so this is the output so generally we call uh, this the output so this is the output okay so the digital output so then we have a voltage reference called as v reference v reference is the voltage okay so then we have a comparator here so it is a circuitry here so the output of the comparator will be fed back to the acr for uh, closed loop control system okay so then we have eoc end of conversion eoc is end of conversion then plus minus this is a comparator so we have a comparator usually will be uh, comparing whether this is greater or this is smaller so only for that we have this comparison okay now this dac one of the input is given as the comparator input the other input is via the sample and hold circuit sh yes, so this is gone here and here this is the v input voltage okay so when you see the uh, circuitry here uh, this is the comparator okay so we have a clock signal so once you press the clock pulse so maybe i'll just take some other color here so once you uh, use the clock pulse here uh, after the clock pulse uh, the values the digital values will be fed to the dac and there is a voltage a v reference voltage is applied to the dac now based on that uh, a value is computed and this value comes here so this voltage we called as v dac voltage dac voltage will be coming here the output uh, voltage from the digital to analog will be coming here and that will be compared with the v in okay so v in and v dac will be compared based on the comparison there will be some value that will be fed back to the successive approximation register so then finally uh, the value uh, comes so once the end of uh, conversion happens the value stops so once you calculate that value you will get the uh, digital equivalent okay so this is what the simple logic so now uh, the analog values i'll show you the calculation here so analog i send an analog signal so like this i send a signal here is the adc then output will be 10010001 like this this is output okay so this is what the generalized uh, a to d converter so the signal what we send is analog signal the output what we get is the digital output okay now this we are going to see how we are going to process that's what uh, this uh, entire session is about so this full lecture so please listen carefully and uh, we will see how the design is uh, performed okay right
so now i will take the assumptions here first assumption is to start with to start with the msb is 1 or the msb is set and all other bits reset reset so reset means you know it is zero set means it is 1 okay so that means if it is a 4 uh, bit adc so for a 4 bit adc 4 bit adc means the digital output will be in 4 bits so for the 4 bit adc 100 is the bit the first i mean uh, before we start the circuit the msb will be set to 1 and all other bits will be set to 0 okay so that is set and reset then for a 8 bit adc for a 8 bit adc it is 1000000 so that means the first bit is set all other bits are reset okay now uh, depending on this 8 bit adc or 4 bit adc so the accuracy will be very good uh, if you go for higher bits uh, bits of operation so even uh, uh, in most of the lcd projectors we have in our campus they are a 10 bit adc so 10 bit adc means think of in the initial uh, 1 2 3 4 then 0 so 10 bit adc so 10 bit adc is somewhat good accuracy and we have even 12 bit adc also so they are all very uh, popular and uh, they are costlier also because when we increase one bit it will be very costlier okay now to start with the msb is set to 1 and all other bits uh, uh, reset okay now this is the starting point okay now we will just uh, state it uh, step 1 so step 1 is 1 000 let me go with the 4 bit adc okay 4 bit adc now step 2 is so what is the input voltage and what is the reference voltage okay so v input voltage so what input voltage for which you want to find the digital value so let me take uh, let me take a voltage as 11.2 volts uh, uh, i am not taking any whole number here because whole number what happens sometime it converges to zero once it is converged to zero then uh, then bit patterns will not be changed at all so that's why i am just taking a value which is odd number and with a decimal value that's why i am taking 11.2 okay then we have a reference voltage we need to have so the reference voltage to dac so reference voltage you can see that uh, this is the reference voltage okay as per the circuitry this is the reference voltage so i am taking the reference voltage as 16 volts okay now i cannot uh, i can take any reference voltage value because as per the circuitry of dac uh, how much voltage it can able to withstand so up to maximum 30 volts uh, it can withstand i am taking a voltage of 16 voltage so what i do is i will adjust the dac circuitry to handle 16 volts that is the reference voltage okay now uh, v dac the formula for v dac equal to so v dac means so in the dac here we have a value v dac okay so in this v dac we will be uh, computing the value of v reference with some bit patterns okay because it is digital to analog converter dac means digital to analog so digital values are been there and that converts into analog so with the reference v reference voltage the value will be printed out okay now how that value is v dac equal to v reference into uh d not by uh that is uh, d not by d n minus 1 so we can be able to have like this d n minus 1 by 8 plus d n minus 2 by sorry it is by 2 then by 4 then plus d n minus 3 by 8 like that it will go okay so in our case we have uh, v reference equal to in for a 4 bit adc we have uh, d uh, 0 1 2 3 so d3 by 2 plus uh, d2 by 4 plus d3 by 8 then plus d4 by 16 so this is what uh, for a 4 bit adc okay so this is a dac output voltage from the dac so this is what the 4 bit Uh, adc converter so this is the value using that we have to cal- compute it okay please remember i have taken the input voltage as 11.2 and the output voltage the reference voltage is 16 volt now i need to find out the equivalent digital value using this uh, formula so now step 1 is 100 i have set the bit pattern okay so in this case uh, d3 is 1 uh, d20 uh, d10 and d not 
okay so that's what d3 d2 d1 d0 okay so i have just set it okay now you can uh, compute the first value here uh, v dac equals v reference means 16 into d3 by 2 so d3 is 1 by 2 plus 0 by 4 plus sorry uh, 0 by 8 plus 0 by 16 as per the value so totally when you see 16 by 2 will be 8 volts so the first iteration the value of v dac will be 8 volts okay so this 8 what i got okay now i need to compare so actually as per the comparator here what happens here minus and plus we are getting this is what some output so here this through the sample and hold circuit the v input is coming here and here this will be a v dac okay what is the comparator do comparator means we have to compare uh, what happens when this is less than that this is greater than that then this is equal to that so that's what we will be comparing so now in this case we have three three comparisons so the comparisons are the comparisons that means uh, v input minus v dac if it is greater than 0 what has to be done then v input minus uh, v dac less than 0 what happens then v input minus v dac equal to 0 what has to do okay now why we are using minus is v input is given as plus here and v uh, dac is minus here so i have value comparison like this so comparison is usually subtraction only okay now in this greater than 0 then what you have to do is greater than 0 that means the condition is set the current bit sorry set the next bit this is remember when v input minus v dac greater than 0 set the next bit when v input minus v dac less than 0 then reset the current bit and set the next bit here no change and is zero no change please remember v in minus v dac greater than 0 set the next bit Uh, don't change the current bit okay let the current bit be as it is when v input minus v dac less than 0 reset the current bit and set the next bit so the current bit you make it zero and reset the next bit okay so this is what the comparison we will be doing it in uh, successive approximation so this formula is very important v input minus v dac because through the comparator only this data goes so this is the comparator so in the comparator we have this value so v in minus v dac so we have conditions less than or equal to 0 or greater than 0 so then what the condition iteration 1 so already we have set 100 am i right so we we found out so now the set the next bit so v in minus v dac the current bit is uh, 1100 now we have to find out the dac value so to find the dac value v dac equal to uh, v reference so v reference into so 1 by 2 Plus one by four, plus zero by eight, plus zero by sixteen. So once you find out the value will be sixteen into one by two plus one by four, which will be sixteen uh, into three by four. So four four will be twelve uh, volts. Okay. So now iteration two. Iteration two. So in the iteration two, we have eleven point two is the input voltage minus twelve volt. Which is equal to minus 0.8, which is less than zero. In that case, what we have to do is 1100 will become the second digit will become 1010. Got it? Because 10 means reset the current bit. So this bit is reset, and this bit is set. Okay. So reset the current bit and uh, sorry, set the next bit. Okay. so reset the current bit and set the next bit okay so now in this case we got 11 1010 10. okay now we will find out the v dac value so v dac equal to 16 voltage reference into 1 by 2 plus 0 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 0 by 16 so this becomes 0 so 16 into uh, 8 is 8 plus 1 9 Uh, to 1 by 2 means uh, how much you are getting uh, here it is 4 by 8 5 by 
into 5 by 8. 8 is 2 times. So, we will get 10 volts. So, 10 volts. So, now in this case, what happens? Uh, now, our value will be 1010 will be since it is uh, 11.2 minus 10, which is equal to 1.2, which is greater than 0. So, in that case, 101 1, already the we are third bit, set the next bit, set the next bit. Okay. So, now we get a value of 1011. 1, 1. This, this value we got it now. And uh, this value will be set. This value is set. Okay, current bit, we, we are not touching the current bit. This value is set. Okay, now we will compute the value of VDAC. So, VDAC equal to uh, V reference 16 into 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16. Okay, so now 16 into uh, then you take 16 as the LCM. Uh, 2 will be 8, 8 will be 2, and 1 will be equal to 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So 16 and 16 cancel, you will get 11 volt. Okay, now all the bit we have set it. So 4 times, so first initially we got 1 triple 0, next we got 1 1 0 0, next we got 1 0 1 0, next we got 1 0 1 1. Now this value is the fourth clock pulse because of 4 bit ADC. The fourth clock pulse. So now in this case, we got a voltage of 11 volt. What is the bit pattern? 1011. This is the bit pattern. Okay, so that means what? The input voltage, what we have given is 11.2 volt. The equivalent digital value is 1011. But when we compute with the reference voltage, the value here is 11 volt. So almost 11.2 we are not getting, but we are getting 11 volts when we compute the average because of a 4 bit ADC. Because the ADC is uh, 4 bit only, so you can able to process only a value of 11 volt. In case if you want to be closer to 11.2, then you have to go for a 8 bit A to D converter. Okay, so then you have to go for a 8 bit A to D converter. So now, uh, any doubts so far? So that I will go with 8 bit. 8 bit is slightly longer. The same thing will continue for the 8 bit. Any doubts, students, so far? So this is the circuitry. So, and this is what the 4 bit ADC. Okay, now now we will go with 8 bit ADC. So, 8 bit ADC, what I am going to do is the same value here, the last 4 bit. So, 8 bit ADC. 8 bit ADC. Already I have done 4 because the remaining all values are only zeros only. So, here the formula here for uh, 8 bit is VDAC equal to V reference into uh, D naught by 2, sorry, uh, D7, D7 by 2. Uh, D6 by 4 plus D5 by 8 plus D6 by 16, sorry, uh, D4, then D3 by 32 plus uh, D2 by 64 plus uh, D1 by 128 plus D0 by 256. So, this is what the value of uh, the, this uh, 8 bit. Okay, now all the 4 bits we have already done it. So, what we get a value is 1011. Okay. So, now our value here is uh, we have to do uh, four more samples 1011 and all four zeros. This is what we have a current value now. Okay. So, now we will be finding the VDAC value. So, VDAC value we already found out it is 11, 11 volt. Okay. 11 volt. We already found out it is 11 volt. Now, 11.2 minus 11, which is equal to uh, 0.2, which is again greater than. 0. So, in that case, what happens? Greater than 0 means uh, we have to reset the next bit. So, 1011000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 will become, maybe we will use some other uh, word, 101110. 0, 1, 1, 1, so, this value is, sorry, this value is set. Next bit is set. Current bit, leave it as it is because it is higher. Okay. So now, in that case, we have a new value. So now, uh, we will go again with VDAC. So VDAC equal to 1 by 2, 16 into 1 by 2 plus 0, we will leave it. 0 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 32. Remaining all 0 plus 0 plus 0. Okay. Now, in that case, what happens? 16 into we have 32 as one value. So, 2, 16, 4, plus 2, plus 1. Okay. So, 16 here two times. The total value is 20, 23 by 2. So, 23 by 2 is 
11.5. Okay. So I am getting a voltage of 11.5. So now again we will go with 11.0 uh, minus 11.5. So it will be less than 0 because I will get minus 0.5. So less than so 11.2 here. 11.2 minus 11.5 is less than 0. Okay. So in that case, what you have to do is 10111000 will be converted to let me use other color. So 1011. The current bit make it reset and the next bit make it 1 and then you make other zeros. Okay. So now in that case, what happens? This is set and this is reset because it is less than 0. Okay. So now we will find out the DAC value. So what is the DAC value? So V DAC equal to uh, 16 into 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 0 plus 1 by 64. So which will be equal to 16 I will take. I will take 64 as LCM. So then 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. Okay. Now 16 here 4 times. Okay. So 40. 45 by 4. So 45 by 4, what is the value of 45 by 4? Let me use my calculator. 45 divided by 4. Here it is 11.25. So I am getting a value 11.25 volts. Okay. Now, so far, how many we have done? Uh, we have two more bit ready. Okay. So now in that case, what do I do is 11.25. So now again, I am comparing 11 minus 11.25. So 11.2 minus 11.25. Again, less than 0. Why? 11.2 minus 11.25. So again, what we have to do is 10, uh, 11, 10, 11, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This can be converted to, let me use other color, uh, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, now what happens here is, uh, this is set and this is reset because of less than zero okay less than zero the current bit will be reset and the next bit next bit will be set if it is greater than zero only the next bit will be set current will will be set as it is okay so now in this case we have to find out uh, another value here vdac value so vdac equal to 16 into uh, 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 by 128 plus 0 equal to 16 into I'll make it 128 to 64 times uh, 8 16 times 16 8 times 128 one time so which will be 16 8 times then 80 uh, 88 89 by 8 89 by 8 so again, I'll use my calculator. 89 divided by 8 will be equal to 11.125. 11.125 volts. Okay. So last bit uh, we are pending. So we have 11.2 minus 11.125, which is greater than zero. So in that case, what we have to do is the current bit pattern is 10110010. 10110010. Now this can be converted to uh, 10110011. Okay. So in that case, what happens? This is uh, set. This bit is as it is. As it is. Okay. So because it is greater than 0. Okay. So now I will compute this value. Uh, VDAC. When we compute it, VDAC equal to V reference is 16 into 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 by 128 plus 1 by 256. So then what I do 16 the LCM is 256 and I'll take the value 128 plus 8 is uh, 8 16 32 times plus 16 is 16 times 128 is 2 times and this one time so 16 16 times. So the total value what I will do is uh, 128 uh, plus 32, 160, uh, 176, 177, 179, 179 by 16. It will be equal to 
11.1875 approximately 11.2 volts okay so now the input voltage what we get is uh, v input voltage what we have is 11.2 we have assumed and the v output voltage or the digital output voltage is uh, 10110011 so 10110011 so this is equivalent to 11.1875 which is almost equivalent to 11.2 okay so similarly when you go for a 10 bit adc still more it will be refined the 11.1875 will be refined if you go for a uh, 10 bit a to d converter okay so this is how the way the analog value is converted into a perfect digital value here okay. so hope you have understood the complete successive approximation register so thanks for watching this video so please subscribe to our channel thank you very much